Hello guys, so today we will learn something about Visioner Cipher and also its implementation on C++. So before starting today's topic, I would like to tell you what a cipher is. So a cipher is a secret or a disguised way of writing a code and that's what I got on Google. Also earlier in my article, I wrote about what a Caesar cipher is and its implementation on C++ which is also available on my blog that is c++catalog.blogspot.in You can also search other articles in the search bar. So uh, telling you about uh, Caesar cipher first, uh, it is a type of encryption where each letter of the string is replaced by a letter that is corresponding to a certain number of letters up or down. For example, I have quoted an example here as well. Uh, that is a test if the if our string is test and the uh, key is 3 so the encrypted version would be WHVW. Uh, what I did here was T plus the uh, third letter then E and the third letter. So th that's an easy encryption, easy way of encryption which could be decrypted very easily as you can see that uh, both the T's in the string test have the same alphabet here. Well, coming to Visioner Cipher, it's a more complex uh, cipher we have. Uh, it's, it was performed in maybe 1980s or 1990s. So Visioner Cipher is a way of encryption where different series of uh, Caesar Cipher are used. So in simple words, it's a polyalphabetical encryption where a key is decided by the person who is encrypting the text. So I'll give you an example as well and we'll explain you this table after the example. So considering my name that is Akshit and the key taken was key itself. So I'll write each letter of the key just below the uh, just below each letter of my string or my name. And you can see that I have repeated key two times and then K, j uh, just because I had seven letters, uh, seven alphabets in my name, and so I'll have to take seven alphabets of the key as well. So starting off with the explanation of this table, this table was basically used to encrypt or decrypt. I'll zoom it for you. So taking the first string, of uh, first alphabet that is R, and the first alphabet of the key that is K. So I'll plot the uh, encrypted alphabet from here going down and matching I'll get B and so goes the uh, other alphabets and the uh, desired or I must say the uh, resultant of this encrypted text would be BEI CLGD which would stand for RAK SHIT also when I was uh, going through the other articles uh, available on Google on Vision or Cipher I got a few formulas uh, that were used for encryption and decryption. Um, if I talk mathematically, each letter, uh, the uh, or I must say, each letter is uh, starting from the number zero and goes till twenty-five. As we know that the array concept in our computers starts from zero and the uh, and the index follows. And so, so as to bring it in the uh, computer form. Uh, since our alphabets start from 65 as sky 65 that is capital A I had to add 65 here in my encryption code as well that is here so to that formula I had added letter 65 so as to get the resultant in terms of computer so uh, starting off with the explanation of code I took three formulas or sorry three functions one was to encrypt other was to decrypt and then one function was to get the desired key I'm not talking about entering the key but getting the desired key for example here the key was repeated two times and then K came so as to meet the so, so as to meet our requirement and so we had this function get key to uh, I also mentioned why it is used to repeat the key till the string size that attain a new key so first I'll demonstrate my program and so here we have our program and uh, I'll be explaining you all the functions after the demonstration of our program. So the drawback of our uh, syntax was that uh, we cannot uh, enter in small alphabets and so I've mentioned entering capital letters. The reason uh, for this drawback was that uh, we had entered or we have added character A to it and uh, which present ASCII 65 and that is a capital alphabet so we'll get we'll be getting all the alphabets in terms of uh, capital letters only 
you can also add uh, two upper or two lower functions so as to have a uh, better version of this program and here goes my first example uh, first example I have also included spaces in between and uh, here we have to enter the key uh, 10 alphabets of 10 alphabets or less than 10 alphabets because I, uh, the data type I took was uh, an array of te uh, 10 characters so the key goes as my name and here we have the encrypted version and the decrypted version so you can very well see that uh, T also has K and S also has K uh, and the S in the uh, word is as L this happened because of a key when I said that it is a series of different Caesar ciphers so we'll be getting uh, different corresponding uh, alphabets every time just because of the key here we go and that's a fir first function that is get key to where I'll be uh, taking a string uh, I've passed a string which I'll be taking in the void main from the user and also the key and I had derived a formula that if we divide the number of uh, alphabets in the key from the number of alphabets of the string the question would be the number of times we'll have to repeat the key and the remainder would be number of times uh, or the number of alphabets that we'll have to add simple maths and so I had uh, saved my question in the X and remainder in the Y so here my loop goes starting from 1 till the uh, question uh, as I said that we'll have to repeat number of times of the question and so I'll have to take one less so uh, here we have the string concatenation uh, string concat function which will uh, be adding the key one uh, say the number of times we need it uh, that is the question and then again a loop goes and further we add the rest of the alphabets and then the key is returned in the void main obviously and here we have the uh, encrypt function where I'll be passing the string and the new key which I had generated and the formula uh, which is available in, on my blog as well and this is the condition so as to take the spaces as well it checks if the uh, alphabet uh, or the character is, is an alphabet or not and if it is not an alphabet the same character is pasted from the string to the new encrypted key and so the spaces are accommodated as well which you won't get in other algorithms available and then goes the decryption the other formula for the decryption which is available on the blog and we have uh, the same process of adding a character A which was also there in encryption and then further the uh, decrypted version is returned in the void main here goes all the function calling and then encrypted and the decrypted version So guys that's all about vision cipher if you liked the video do click the bell icon to get notifications of a new video and also visit our blog to get new tutorials thanks for watching